Hey everybody. Just do the old checkaroo. Make sure that we're uh, in good working order. It is the Burbcast right before Valentine's Day. I'm gonna find it here. B E A U <laughs> T I without my glasses. There we go. Okay, looks like we're uh, looks like we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, beautiful. Okay, so I wanted to kind of look nice for Valentine's Day because you know it's Valentine's Day, so a little different setting, and you know, did did myself up a little bit, made myself look good for our date tonight, right? So. Uh, we're going to do the normal stuff. We're going to do some tasting, tasting, and uh, then I'm going to make a cocktail just in time for Valentine's Day. So, and <laughs> I left some stuff in the fridge. So when it comes to that, I'll go get it. All right. So, all right. What we're going to do is a tasting of a bourbon that I want to give another chance to. And it is the basis to the cocktail that we're going to make. I tried Maker's Mark once before, and I bought a little one. Because the last time I had this, I didn't like it very well. But that was really early in my bourbon journey. So I'm going to, I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to pour a little bit. I'm going to let it breathe. No, I'm not going to leave that stuff on the table. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's a screw cap. That's classy. <laughs> All right, fine. That's good enough, because if I don't like it, I'm not going to want a lot of it. All right, so Maker's Mark. Um, they started doing... The signature wax on the bottles back when they first got started. They still do it today. And it's a major part of their marketing. I've been at different bars and things like uh, down south when they've been doing um, uh, big marketing pushes. They've been going out and, and doing promotions and stuff in bars and such. And, and they'll do glasses. They'll, they'll dip those glasses in, in wax and give them away or sell them or sell special drinks in them. And you get to keep the glass and take it home. Um, don't put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> so I know what you're thinking, or at least I like to think that I know what you're thinking, and that is, why aren't we going with four roses on Valentine's Day? Roses, Valentine's Day. Been there, done that. Roses, you guys, come on, get creative. Do something different. Valentine's Day is to show somebody how much you care, not the fact that you remembered the day. Right? So, shake it up. Do something different. Roses, pfft, no more. Four roses, just fine. Especially this one, the single barrel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, me like. We'll taste it someday here, but um, not tonight. Not tonight. This is about Valentine's Day, and this is about something different, right? A new start. Doing something, something you haven't done before. So, that's what we're doing. This needs to sit a couple more minutes. Um... Uh, let me uh, check the old intranet, see if anybody's talking to me. I was a little bit late, and I apologize for that. Uh, yeah, no. No, nobody's, uh, nobody's talking, so that's fine. Okay. Well, uh, since we have a lot to do, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Uh, I'll shake it up a little bit, see if I can give you just a little bit of, little bit of turtle devin. Because that's what you do on Valentine's Day, is give it a little love. Okay. <laughs> okay, the ethanol is on the nose. By the way, a little bottle like this, it's going to taste just like a big bottle. While I haven't been a fan of Makers, I do like the Makers 46. And I have some other Makers, too, 
that are along in the family that I haven't tried. So we'll we'll have a Maker's Day one of these times. But let's let's start small. 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 Here we go. Oak is present. Um, oh, vanilla. I'm catching vanilla on that. Somebody told me that when you smell, sniff, whatever bourbon, that you should do it with your mouth open. Okay, I'll try it. I don't know that it'll change anything. Worth a shot. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You can take the guy and class up the clothes. That's as much as you're going to get. You just... Okay. So yeah, the oak, the vanilla, ethanol strong. There's a fruity overtone. Um, I can't place it. Um, it's a sweeter fruit. It's not like a dark fruit. Hmm. Let's try it. Okay. I like that better than I thought I would. It's unique. It's different. Whew. And that's saying hello all the way down. Um, oak is strong. Uh, I'm actually getting uh, a slight hint of citrus. And um, there's, a, there's a, an overtone of like really mild overtone of like leather. Um, but it's not, I mean, it's pleasant. It's, you know, you like the smell of leather, right? Um, that's kind of what it reminds me of, a little bit, just that first taste. Let's do it again. Hmm. The, the citrus that I'm getting is orange. Um, vanilla is still strong on it. It's butterscotch. Eh. It's actually a lot tastier than I remember. I remember the first time I ever had it, and I didn't like it. But again, my palate was really immature. I remember opening up Colonel Taylor and thinking, look, I don't like this. And I drank it anyway. <laughs> but uh, now I probably open up Colonel Taylor and go, wow, I love it. But I haven't had Colonel Taylor now in a couple of years. I have some. I'm just saving it for a burp cast. We'll drink it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, next step is to get out the old-fashioned glass and the bowl or ice. Icy bottles is not something that you want on, the, on the Valentine's Day. Isn't that gallant, though? Isn't that beautiful? That's just, that is gorgeous. Like me. All right, we're going to do this. Again, I'm kind of busting through this a little bit because um, I want to make sure that we have time to get everything in. I don't want to keep you forever um, because I know you have other things to do, right? I don't. <laughs> Actually, I've got dinner sitting over there. I made food and I haven't eaten it yet. My ball got stuck. There. How do I swish my ball if it's stuck to the glass? We'll just uh, do that. All right. So, salute on ice. Hmm. It actually, in this case, um, added some character to it. The leather came out a little bit more. Also, um, wheat. Um, there's a sense of wheat that I'm getting that wasn't present before when it was neat. And now, um, on ice, I'm getting like this, not bread, but the wheat. If you've ever been in a wheat field, especially as, as they harvest it, and you smell that, that harvest and that chaff, 
that's kind of what it reminds me of. Still little hints of um, citrus and butterscotch. Very minute now. Um, it's more earthy with ice on it to me. Uh, I think I like the flavor of it better neat, um, but it doesn't lose its character on ice, which is nice. No, it's, it's good. I got just that last time, I got ah, right in the center of my tongue, just a little bit of mint. It, like, like that. It was, and then it was gone. So, uh, but anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's Maker's Mark. Uh, we did it, we did it the, uh, this way, and we did it this way, and now I've got to get up and get the stuff out of the fridge so we can do it the rest, because we're going to make a very special cocktail for Valentine's Day, so give me two shakes, or three, or four, maybe a few extra, Ta -da. So what's all this stuff? <laughs> well, I'm going to make a very, very special cocktail. And I researched this because I wanted to do something, first of all, that I would like. And one that I could go back to for years to come. And I discovered this, and we actually tried it last night. I had some friends over, and we put it together last night. And it's really, really good. And it's called a Kentucky Kiss. So, here's how you do it. Ready? I am. Okay, so, um, we're going to start off. And I'm probably going to have to put my glasses on because I don't want to cut my fingers off. <laughs> all right, we're going to need, uh, I can see it all right. We're going to need uh, some strawberry. And what we do is we carve it up a little bit to make it easier to work with. Now, I'm going to do smaller pieces than I had last night. Okay, there we go. And it goes in one of these glasses. Hmm. 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 What do we do now? <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. I forgot something else. It's over there. I got to go get it. All right. Whoop. Don't put the top in it. Uh. So, because that was a relatively large strawberry, I'm not going to put more in it. You, you would normally use, like, a couple of strawberries, but I don't want to use that much strawberry. Okay? So, we'll just do that, and then we'll leave that sit. Then, we take a jigger. Now, I have invested in this drink, kids. I bought a bunch of jiggers because I needed to have the right size to do this. This is maple syrup. Do not use pancake garbage. This is real maple syrup, okay? Came from an Amish farm. Good stuff. This is the real deal. So we need a half ounce of maple syrup. Like so. Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? I love maple syrup. <laughs> Okay. I can't believe I got, forgot the other thing. I gotta go over there and get it. So then we also have a half ounce. Now, fresh squeezed lemon juice would be better, but I don't have any lemons. I do have this. So we do what we can. This is good stuff. It's lemon juice. It's not watered down. It's not barf. Okay. 
put that in there. Now, if you'll excuse me while I get up and get one more thing that I done forgot. So, <laughs> again, you got to use what you've got, right? I never have invested in something to muddle with. So this is actually a stomper out of a, out of a um, meat grinder. <laughs> it works just fine. I want to check and see if anybody's talking to me. Well, hey! My mommy's watching! <laughs> How cool. All right. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Mom and I, when she, when she comes up, we like to drink together. Uh, her drink is Kahlua. And um, my drink is everything else. <laughs> so, but anyhow, okay. So we've got, we've got our lemon juice. We've got our strawberries. And we've got our maple syrup down here in the glass. Now we muddle. And if you don't have anything like this, be creative, um, like I'm being creative with this stomper. Um, you can muddle with it. You want to get it good and squishy-fied. Okay. All right. So, I mean, the food is fun. Mixing drinks is fun, and you can do it perfectly every single time. Or you can use what you've got and have fun in the experimentation of it. And just enjoy yourself and try it out, see if it works. And if it doesn't, find out why and fix it next time. We did it this way last night, and it was really, really good. Okay? All right, so I think that that's pretty well pulverized. All right? So we do that. Okay, so next step is we add a little ice to it. All right, so we're just going to pour a little ice in there. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And I'm doing the ice first, so that way the bourbon gets cooled down as it goes in. You're going to stir it anyway, but that's where we use this jigger. Jigger. Uh, and this is a two-ounce pour. So the maple syrup and the... Lemon juice were just a half ounce. This is a two ounce pour. And the reason that I'm using Maker's Mark is because this is a Maker's Mark drink. This is one of their recipes. So in order to give it the best shot, I thought I'll use the bourbon that, that they want me to use for it. Last night we used Bullet. And it was really good with Bullet. It was really, really good. So this is a two ounce pour. Nice. I have to be my own cheerleader. Okay, I'm going to check and see if anybody's talking. Nobody's talking. All right, cool. All right, so now we give it a little stir because I don't have a stir stick either. I'm still just starting. We're all just amateurs at this, right? Give that a little stir. And then a little garnish. All right, this is a Kentucky Kiss. Oh yeah. So, I, oh my gosh, that's really good. Gosh, it's even better than it was last night. And I think it might be because of the choice of whiskey. I don't know, this is just, maybe I just mixed it better, maybe I'm a practiced hand, maybe I'm just really thirsty. <laughs> I don't know, but this is really good. Um, I forgot what I was going to say completely, so I'm just going to drink. Yeah, now, so no, I, I remember what I was going to say. Normally, I don't like anything with strawberry taste in it. I don't like strawberry pie. I don't like strawberry daiquiris. I don't like strawberry candy. I don't like anything artificial strawberry, but... This is real strawberries, of course, 
But I don't even really like strawberry shortcake very much. I like strawberries. This, I really like. This is fantastic. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, is anybody talking? Yep, somebody's talking. Hold on, hold on. Gotta put on my eyeballs. <clears throat> Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Aaron, uh, Aaron and um, Jackie and, uh, and such. Um, they came over, and Hannah, they all came over last night, and that's, we were trying the drinks. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot something. I'm sorry. I forgot something. Here I am just enjoying it, and you can do it this way. But the, the prescription for this particular drink is to add a splash of club soda. Club soda is simply carbonated water. Not much else. I don't have club soda, and I had a busy day today, and I didn't make it out of the house to go get club soda. Last night, we used tonic water. Maybe that's why I like this more tonight, because we didn't put tonic water in it. Tonic water is going to add uh, a couple of things to it. It's going to add a flavoring, and it's going to add some sugar to it. Um, and I don't remember the name of the. I want to call it strychnine. Is that the name? Is that what's in it? Uh, uh, high fructose corn syrup. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Carbonated water, yada, yada, yada. So uh, you can add club soda. You can add just a splash of regular water. Or you can add tonic if you want to. Just a splash. Just a bit. I'm not doing that tonight because I like the way this tastes just the way it is. So again, this is the Kentucky Kiss. Uh, it is, you muddle together a half, uh, half um, um, ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of maple syrup, and then two ounces of bourbon, um, oh, and you muddle in a healthy supply of strawberries, and then you've got a Kentucky Kiss. So, one thing about Valentine's Day is, yeah, it's a Hallmark holiday, and it's made up, and whatever, but people put a lot of, a lot of, um, thought into Valentine's Day, and a lot of money into Valentine's Day, and it's kind of this place where if you don't do it, the person that you're with will be disappointed somehow, because they want to be shown and told and proved that they're loved on a day that is set aside for that. You set aside Christmas to honor the Lord to give presents, and to be with family. You set aside Thanksgiving to be with family and to give thanks for the things that you have. You set aside Valentine's Day to tell somebody how much you love them, how much they mean to you, how much you're happy that they're in their life, in your life. So do something different this year, something out of the box that's going to tell that person that you're glad that they're in your life. And maybe, maybe, make them a drink. A drink that doesn't just come out of a bottle. A drink that you have to put some effort into. If you are alone on this Valentine's Day, you can look ahead and realize that you're never alone. Not when you have a Kentucky kiss to look forward to. Thank you for joining me. I had fun. I hope you had fun. This was a great time. Share this with your friends, especially for Valentine's Day. Let them know that you saw it. Let them know you like it. If you haven't liked the page, by the way, those of you who follow the page, why don't you just like it? <laughs> I've never understood that. You could, you could like a page or you could follow a page. Just like it. Why follow it and not like it? Come on. Really? <laughs> we thrive on the likes. It's Valentine's Day. I need to be liked. <laughs> okay. That's all I got. Hey, uh, thank you for... <laughs> I'm getting laughed at. <laughs> thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I've had a ball. I hope you have too. And I hope that someday, just like me, you can look forward to a Kentucky kiss.